Greetings, beloved friends in Christ. I welcome you to 5 Minutes with Mother Mary on this 26th day of our May devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. I am Father C.J. Mberry and we shall be reflecting on the theme, Singular Vessel of Devotion. Following our reflections on the titles of Our Lady in the Litany of Loreto, today we consider the third invocation of Mary as a vessel, singular vessel of devotion. This title carries a deep meaning rooted in its Latin origins, offering deeper insight than its English translation alone. The term devotionis is the genitive singular of devotio which means dedication by a vow, self-sacrifice, or solemn promise. It also signifies an act of religious worship or exercise. The term insignia, that is insignia in Latin, means a badge of honor or distinguishing mark, signifying something significant, remarkable, or extraordinary. Therefore, vast Insigni devotionis implies a vessel marked by extraordinary dedication and faithfulness to God's service, which is known as singular vessel of devotion. So when we call Mary a singular vessel of devotion, we acknowledge her unique distinction and total dedication to God. She is an example of complete devotion, commanding great respect and honor as a model of faithfulness and service to God. Her devotion is an expression of pure love for the Blessed Trinity, making her a distinguished vessel dedicated to the benefit of humanity. The psalmist's prayer for an undivided heart in Psalm 86 verse 11 to 12 aligns deeply with the life of Mary. Her heart was entirely devoted to God, fully committed to His will. This singularity of devotion enabled her to say yes to the angel Gabriel without hesitation. Our example calls us to seek a similar undivided heart, wholly dedicated to God and His purposes. A devotee is someone who is dedicated and open-hearted like Mary. Invoking Mary under this title does not make her the object of our worship. Rather, it recognizes her as a model of perfect devotion to God. From Nazareth to Calvary to Pentecost and beyond, Mary followed Jesus with total dedication. She is the only person in history who followed Jesus from before his birth, through his ministry and beyond, embodying true devotion. In contrast to Mary's devotion, we witness a lack of dedication in modern motherhood today. Many mothers today are not devoted to their children in a Christian way, with some even resorting to abortion or abandoning their children. Mary's life was a continuous expression of her devotion to God. From the Annunciation to the Crucifixion and beyond, her faithfulness never wavered. She nurtured Jesus, supported His ministry, and stood by Him at the cross. This steadfast devotion was not limited to a single moment, but was a lifelong commitment. We are called to emulate Mary's enduring devotion in our daily lives, consistently seeking to fulfill God's will with faith and trust. Devotion is synonymous with consecration. Mary lived in total consecration to God, encouraging us to live as devotees dedicated to God's service in all aspects of our lives whether as religious, laity, parents, children, or leaders. Reflecting on Mary as the singular vessel of devotion challenges us to examine our own level of devotion or dedication to God. Her life of deep faith or lively faith, obedience and love for God serves as a model for us. As we strive to deepen our devotion, let us ask for Mary's intercession to help us 
cultivate an undivided heart, wholly dedicated to God. May we, like Mary, respond to God's call with a resounding yes and live our lives as true vessels of devotion, bringing glory to His name. O oh, singular vessel of devotion, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, singular vessel of devotion, the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you.